Hello, my fellow gamers. This is your Point and Critic Gamer here, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Grey Matter. Well, in any case, we just finished uh, talking to Dr. Styles. He was being a dick, of course, because of the rabbit and stuff, but he was concerned about Sam because she has what they call, I guess they call a goose egg, which apparently I don't see it in, the, in her model, but... You know, like in the previous thing, she wasn't in the science room with the other guys being tested. I mean, the lab. Instead, she was trying to trap whoever was trying to do some paranormal stuff. And instead of finding anyone, she ends up getting conked on the head by what probably was a, a weight, which could probably, in fact, crack to her skull. But luckily, that didn't happen. Bones ring. Linkwell here. Linkwell. Oh. I hope you're not cancelling on me tonight. I bought a lovely bottle of champagne. And it's bridge night for your wife, I know. Actually, I'm calling about class. Uh. All that paper is due tomorrow. Well, I'm going to be just a few days late. Muffy was sick last night and I was up all hours. It must be this new cat. You know how sensitive our dummy is. Shell, uh, if you know I can't show favorites. Well, okay. if I can't be late, then I'll have to work on the paper tonight. Guess we'll see each other next week then. Aha! This isn't exactly what I hoped for, but it might come in handy. Thanks. That sounds like that girl that has the hots for someone. I'm not sure if I'm fully correct, but... Okay, I, f I completely forgot that we planted a bug under that guy's su uh, phone so we can listen in. I didn't know we had a rig to our cell phone so it will call us when that guy um, gets a phone call. But, uh, whatever. <laughs> Let's just ignore the lot the... Uh, a common question that needs to, that should have been answered, but okay. All right, so um, I guess we can confront him at the infirmary. Eh? Eh? Um, I'm going is, is this his office? Yes. Enter. Enter. If you tough, dare. Sam. Be tough, Sam. He's going to take advantage of you. God damn, with these offices. Yes? What can I do for you? <laughs> God, look at the My backs under Sam his Edward. eyes. I work for Dr. Stiles. How unfortunate. Look at the what eyes. I want you to leave Stiles alone. Ah, <laughs> he's about as left alone as any human being can be. Yeah. I happen to know that you're still obsessed with him and trying to ruin him with these stunts you're pulling on campus. I'm telling you to lay off. Because if you don't, I'll tell uh -huh. your wife about the affair you're having with Shelly. What? What are you playing at? I'm not playing. Try me. Listen, girl, I don't have the faintest idea what you're talking about. But you try to blackmail me and I'll have you expelled so fast you'll be on the 10 o'clock train. <laughs> Up to you. Your wife will still find out. If you're talking about the... The gossip I spread, that was years ago, <laughs> after the accident. Styles has dug his own grave, disappearing as he has. You yeah, I don't think he's in on this whole really? thing. Really? Then why is your graduate student involved in Styles' new experiment? I know exactly what you and Malik are up to. What? Malik. In the experiment. I'm guessing he didn't... This? Um... <laughs> Oh, so now he discovers the bug? What? Young lady, you have five seconds to get out of this office before I call campus security. Well... <laughs> Where did you hit it to make him spot it at that... At that surprise moment? Okay, well... Maybe I should go to that church for the clues? Well, I can't go back into the infirmary, so 
I guess that's all cleared, so let's go to the church. Uh, go to that. Sorry, guys, I just took a nice sip of, of delicious soda. Hey, Charles. What are you doing studying here? Avoiding people. Okay. Helena type people? Yes. <laughs> Your sanctuary is safe with me. Uh huh. Yep. All right, let's talk hey, to him. Charles. Yes. Um. So, are you a virgin? You said you didn't know Doctor Styles before you joined the experiment. Uh huh. I didn't. Then maybe you can explain why you have a copy of his Scientific American article. <laughs> Mum sent me that after I told her about Dr. Styles. God. Right. She would. Mom. How did you know I have the article anyway? I never mentioned it. Someone must have told me. Yeah. Yeah. Wait. Helena. Has she been spying on me? It must have been her. Yeah. Huh. <laughs> Tell me the truth. Helena isn't interested in you when none of us are around, is she? Um, yes, she is. Well, I think it's all an act. No, believe me, she really wants to get me. I know, because I break out in a cold sweat whenever she's around. In fact, you're one of the few girls who doesn't make me sweat. Guess that's because you don't see me as an object. Oh, I do see you as an object, Charles. Just a big, goofy, two-boy band for me object. That works, too. Okay. So, what do you think of magic? You mean, like on the telly? Not exactly. You probably know someone who does magic, right? My great uncle. He used to take coins from my ear, but then he'd never give them to me. Isn't that supposed to be part of it? I mean, why pull a coin from a little kid's ear and then pocket it? Hmm? Yeah, <laughs> bummer. Look, I'm sure there are people right here mm -hmm. in Oxford who are good at magic. You must know someone. What, here? Never mind. All uh, right. Yeah. I hear you have a brother. That must be nice. Me? I'm an only child. Really? I could have sworn someone said they've met your younger brother. Kind of a dumpy kid? No, it's just me and Mum. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. Well, I wanted to get away from him just to be sure, but... Uh... Maybe we should finally call his mum. Um, contact Tara's mum. Well, I need to know after all. Yeah. I bet she's like, oh, goodness, he finally lost his virginity. Hello, Mrs. Eddington. Uh huh. Yes. Can I help you? Yes, I'm Miss Pembroke from St. Edmund Hall College at Oxford University. We have a problem concerning the registration of your son, Charles. Oh. What's the matter? Nothing important, I hope. Is he fine? Nothing important, madam, but we oh. happen to have some confusion about Charles's photograph. Could you describe your son, please? Oh, yes. My boy is tall, with a lovely angel face and blue eyes, and adorable blonde hair. <laughs> is everything okay for the school? Well, that's strange, because the photograph we have on file shows him kind of shorter and heavier. Oh, yes. He changed a lot last yep. year. He joined the athletics team and shot up a good eight inches. You don't know how disconcerting it is to have your son turn into a hunk. <laughs> yep. I suppose it's okay then. Thank you for your time, Mrs. Edgington. That's all right. Goodbye. Well, so yep. much for my theories. Yep, I knew that it wasn't. A, that was just the case. Okay. Is this place open now? I'm guessing this, since she's not responding. Yay! Wow! This does look like the, the area from Hogwarts. <laughs> okay. Um... The painting? 
It's a painting of three young women. It's a paint. Um. Doesn't look like an interact with them thing. I'm guessing I might have to come back here later. Let's go somewhere else for now. Um. Let's go to the library. Hmm. Look who's here. Well, let's give him a nice hello. The ugly guy. <laughs> I mean, seriously, the, his character model face looks like someone beat his fa Harvey face in. Kinderman. It's time I got some straight answers from him. Yeah, I... I just swiped the card so you can walk up to talk to him. All right. Hey, Harvey. Oh, look who's here. Miss Hit and Run. Where yeah. were you last night? Broomstick breakdown? I had something I had to do. Yeah. Yeah, Styles like that, I can tell you. What are you doing? Mm-hmm. Oh, just wishing I were dead. This 20-page legal brief is due tomorrow. I'd rather poke out my eyes with Madonna's steel bra. <laughs> Thankfully, I'm almost done. <laughs> just enough life force left to finish. Okay. Again? Again with the freaking magic tricks? I don't know why I'm like a little annoyed by it. I mean, I love magic tricks, but I guess it's just it doesn't... It just feels like, you know, they needed to throw in this random part to let us have to do this. Uh, I need there. something to do that. Oh, are we going to go to the store? Or? Or, oh. Well, actually, we can use some paper. But, I don't know, it's just... <sighs> it's like, okay, so they wanted to give us a puzzle... But really, all the puzzle is is just to perform a match trick, which is all it is. Like, they... I don't know. It's... I, it's just... I don't know how to really feel about how they do this magic trick thing. It's, ki it's kind of cool, and I... In some ways, and I have to admit, it gives the game a little extra identity. But... The way it feels, it's just... Mm. Okay. Let's up the left sleeve. Then the right hand slot. Then we move this to hand. Do I move it to right hand? Misdirect. Turn in the right slot. Manipulate right item. Hey, it's. Does that say six o'clock already? What drugs are you on? It's the middle of the afternoon. <laughs> Sorry. My mind is so focused on tonight and the experiment. Speaking of which... What are you doing? Could you not mess with my paper? Typo. There's another one. Sam, please put that down. You're making me sweat. Oh my god. You didn't just do that. Fun time's over, Kinderman. You know what I can do. I can give you your paper back, but only if you tell me the truth. Truth? The truth about what? Have you lost your ever loving mind? I saw <laughs> the notes in your room about your new screenplay. Demented scientist, weird experiments. <laughs> you set this whole thing up just to get material okay. for the film, didn't you? What? I no, I oh, for crying out loud, Sam. <sighs> okay, so maybe I did have some ideas in that direction, but it was based on true events, not the other way around. Don't lie. You're working with someone, aren't you? A magician. <laughs> That's how you get with the was one and why you were hanging out near the black wand. Someone else is staging the stunts, but you, you're the inside man. What are you smoking? Yeah, yeah, me and David Blaine were like this. 
That's me, old espionage hard. I'm surprised you caught on to me, because I'm such a brilliant freaking spy. Jesus, Everett, you need to get a grip. I've got nothing to do with this. And you'd better have my paper. This had better be a trick. Seriously. Yeah. Damn it. Man, I ought to hate you for that. Sorry. Why do you have your panties in such a bunch anyway? Nothing happened last night, right? At the weight room? I'll see you, Harvey. Well, technically there was, but I... Nothing happened, right? You know, it doesn't have to be you versus us. We want to like you. I want to like you. Yeah? Well, making friends is just another one of the luxuries that you can afford. But I can't. Why? <laughs> I didn't really kind of get that. Was I threatening him, threatening to tear his paper if he didn't talk or something? Alright. And you literally have to jump with the magician thing. It's always, it has to be a magician. Magician. You know, there's people known as scientists and stuff. They they don't call what they're doing magic tricks. They're just calling, they're just doing in little, they're, well, they're doing tricks, but they don't always have to call them magic tricks. You know, you can always think about a prankster or a scientist. It doesn't have to be an actual magician to do this stuff. You know? It just it's called a guy looks up on YouTube and there you go. <laughs> okay. Let's uh library's done. Um let's go to the hall. Can't go for there, so in the lobby. It gives me this big open door, but I can't go there. Alright. Uh, hello, hello. Give us a minute, will ya? Okay. How are you today? Right as rain. Just wanted to see some ID. I, I showed it to you yesterday. Then it shouldn't be a problem to show it to me again, should it? Yep. That's life. It ain't over till it's really absolutely over. Cheery thought. Here you go. Oh, this might be bad. Miss Helena Bogard. Yeah. Hmm. Odd. Let's look you up, shall we? Did you hear that they caught the person who played that prank in the pool the other night? And the <laughs> one at the track? You don't say. Who was it? One of our residents? No, it was a teacher from Christchurch. Apparently, he's gone a bit bonkers. What? Okay. Yeah, they caught him running around in his underwear over in the Christchurch fountain, claiming to be Poseidon. I think he teaches Greek history or something. What's his name? I know a lot of the professors. Fremantle, third mantle, dismantle. No, that's not it. There's a winter mantle. But I think he teaches a prize. That could be it, do you think? Well, I have to run. I absolutely have to tell my friend about this. What was I looking at? Ah, winter <laughs> Yeah. Okay. He's a dumbass. Oh, it's her. Let's try to see if we can get No, oh, some guys feel And there's a lot of coffee cups. Oh, wait, what's that? Oh, there's I'd like to get over to the graduate wing today. Yep. That might be a way to get there if I can turn off the alarm. Well, good thing he's working on something. Maybe he's repairing a fuse. Well, looks He's like... On... Yeah, okay. Um... Oh, <laughs> uh, miss, what are you doing? I won't do that while the electrician is watching me. Yeah. But it looks like this one controls the alarm. 
Okay. Uh, the cups. Let's look at the cups. Those look a lot like the type of cups magicians use. Oh, really? We're gonna do another magic trick? Okay. Up. Oh, yep. Of course. Let's use our magic tricks hmm. to solve this. Which trick should I use? Well, it involves three cups, I bet, because we just picked up three. So let's find whatever. Wait, I can actually move it. Why do I need to? What's the reason for me to move this? Let me do the bottomless cup. Blah 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 blah. blah. Here we go. Well, hey, do you like to gamble? I know a really cool game that uses cups and a ball, just like these. Uh, I'm busy. <laughs> Again with gambling. It'll only take a minute. Better than Vegas. Watch the game. God, look at this guy. I'll show you. We need three cups. This oh, is great. position number one. Position two. Position three. Oh, yeah. I know this game. <laughs> yeah. It's not what you think. You're going to hide the ball. You can put it under any one of the cups. You can even move the cups around. I'll turn my back, but in the end, I'll be able to tell you where the ball is. How can you do that? We'll see. The only thing is, you have to tell me what positions you're swapping. For example, you can say one and two, if you are switching one and two. But I can put the ball anywhere. Yep. Okay. Ready to try it? I'll turn my back. All right. Right. I hit the ball. Hide the ball bearing and then swap cups. On the first swap, switch the cups that do not have the ball silently. After that, you can switch any two cups, but you have to tell me which numbers you're swapping. I swap two and three. I swap one 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 and three. <laughs> I swap one and two. Well, thanks for changing it. <laughs> okay, well. All right. First of all, during that conversation when she was trying to explain how the game works, her lips wasn't moving in that little clip. You can, like, rewind back and you'll see that her lips weren't moving at all when she was explaining. And, of course, we have the guy playing like a broken record. Of course, this was probably because of the game he was playing. All right, I'm gonna look at the wall food just to check. Let's try to sell it. Take note, on. on. Okay. Oh wait, which cup is marked? So it's this one. Yay! No, oh, no. You have to tell me how to do it. I could earn a fortune down at the pub. Hmm. Giving up my secrets? That will cost you. What do you want? <laughs> so... Okay, um... Sign Yankee Doodle Day. Sign Yankee Doodle Day. Get me coffee downstairs. Let's me flip a switch. Oh. <laughs> Let's go with that. Close your eyes and count to a hundred silently. Why? It's Just, part of the ritual. Yeah. I feel like the horse is ours. One, two. Silently. <laughs> so now he's just standing there. While I'm not seeing his eyes. There. That should let me into the grad wing without the alarm ringing. Don't you think you might have heard the click? So I guess he's still counting. <laughs> okay, so now we're on the other side. Oh, look who's oh, here. Hi, Malik. I was just coming to see you. Hi, Sam. It's not a good time. Mm. What's wrong? What is Nothing. It? I was just fired. Oh, I'm Where? sorry. 
But you probably don't need the money, right? Of course I need the money. My parents have yeah. six other kids to feed and educate. I try to take as little from them as possible. I don't know what I'll do now. I'll have to find another job. Sorry. Gee. I hated working for that guy. So why did you sign up for the experiment with Styles? I'm a huge fan. Styles is why I came to Oxford. Then he quit teaching before I got a chance to take a single class with him. Why doesn't he teach anymore? Yeah. From what I've seen, he wasn't physically disabled by the accident. And he's sane enough, I think. He's reachable. He just needs to be pulled out of himself. And for people to quit screwing with his head. Yeah. Look, I have to go. See you later. Bye. Well, how do you feel now, Sam? You just caused this guy to lo lost his job, probably. Ugh. Okay, so let's see. Well, now we know. Uh, let's get in this room. Angela? Angela? You're not Angela! Who the hell are you? Oh, hi. Is this Angela Mulholland's room? It says I'm her roommate, Kelly. Ah. Hi, I'm Sam. Mm-hmm. Angela is not here. Is there something I can help you with? Uh. That's a gorgeous sweater you got on. Yep. Oh, thank you. It's my favorite, actually. My mother made it. You're kidding. Ah. Uh. No, she's quite good. I can't eat a thing myself. Me neither. That's amazing. Mm. Does Angela have a lot of friends? Oh, not that I know. I think you're the first one I've ever met. She doesn't talk about a friend of hers who's really into magic? No. Okay. So. Yeah, okay. Do all graduate students have roommates? It depends what you sign up for. I just transferred here. I thought it would be a good way to get to know people. Okay. So, how do you like rooming with Angela? Fine. Yeah, it's been fine. Well, that's I good. I'll get a room by myself next term. I think it's harder to adjust to living with a stranger when you're more mature. All right. So, I guess I can't... I need to get Kelly out of here so I can search this room. Of course! What else will we do? We always need to resort to magic tricks. You know, it's not even that hard to figure out which magic trick to do because, of course, she'll say, this one we can't do, and it's always using just one specific one. Gee, since we never done the disappearing ink and we talked to her about her freaking sweater, I bet it's this one. I'm missing something to do this trick. Oh, really? Does this mean I have to go all the way to the store? Store again and buy some another freaking magic trick gizmo crap. I mean, I don't know. I guess it's just that, you know, it's not even that hard of puzzles to do. Maybe that's just it. They're, they're not really that complex because the, the puzzle thing is mostly just written right there for you. It tells you what to do. You look at the book and it tells you where to put it, what, like what objects to put, and you don't even have to search for an object really. You just have to go to this magic store almost every time just to get an item, and there's no limitations. So, oh, you decide to move your ass to be over here. Miss Everett, I was hoping you'd stop by today. <laughs> well, right. it's nice to be wanted. I was just putting some things away. And mm -hmm. I found something you might like. Ooh. What is it? <laughs> How did that fit under the lantern? You put an image inside, and the lantern projects it like a hologram. Let's see if it still works. Oh, wow! Mm. It comes with the butterfly, but you can put any image inside. Ah. An item with sales mediums back in the day. How much? It's free, I bet. It's been in this window for years. I'd be a fiend to charge you. It's my gift to you. Uh, oh. Really? That's sweet of you. I... Thanks. I might be able to use it in my stage act. Yep. Thank you. I secretly planted a bug in there. My pleasure. 
So, he had the thing that, from the angle couldn't fit in that drawer. Or, I mean, in that, on that shelf. Apparently, he shut, so he pulled it out, out of the, out of magic. And apparently, I made it disappear up my ass, thanks to magic. Uh, and he decides to go back to the same spot. Great. All right, well, I don't think I ha need a projector at the moment, but what I do need is something to get rid of the girl. The contents of this. Uh, so I want to telephone spot. Nah, I need to find that stupid invisible ink crap. It's probably in this one. But yeah, it's not even like really hard puzzles because you're not like searching for the item you need to solve it. You just need to go to this store and just grab it on the store shelves. Um, let's see. It's gonna be. Maybe I met. Oh, maybe I missed it on here. It's gonna be here somewhere. I mean, if I was actually forced to look for an item to use in order to do the match trick, maybe, but considering that I have to actually go and just go to the store, and he happens to have what I'm looking for already, just right on the shelf, and I don't even need to collect money to buy it, because apparently I already have the money up front. Uh, I'm just... It's just one of those things. Makes your eye... The money... Um... Also, this is something that annoys me. Why does when I press the space bar it highlights certain objects, but then doesn't highlight objects in this in certain areas? Like this one, it's not nothing's highlighted. I'm trying to find freaking invisible ink. The content. Hmm. A little. The con. Shut up. Ah, here it is. Disappearing ink. All right, I got it. Ah, sometimes it's annoying that some of the things that are marked I can't see. I'd like to pay before I get right yeah. you. Thank you. Yeah, I know. Thank you. Yep. Alright. I'm gonna fuck out of here. <laughs> you know, since I'm a magician girl, why don't I use a magic shit just to steal all this crap from him? Ugh. Uh, who's calling me? Hello? Huh. Damn. I might as well just turn this thing off. Wait, why? Did the phone just... Disconnect? Huh? Oh, look who it is. Oh my god. Helena and Mephistopheles? Maybe David was right. It is one of the girls. And they both have me completely fooled. I've been telling them everything. Uh-huh. They must be in on it because they have to go to a magic shop to, in order to do pull these things off. Again, I can just say, you know, we have things like the internet, we have everything. I think it's r hard to jump to conclusions so much. I mean, I want you to bet I'm pointing the I'm playing the blame game on this person, and in the end, it's it's not that person. If it is, I'll be glad that it probably is, and that I didn't have to waste my time. But. All right, let's go up here. Well, I'm going to ignore that whole ask him for your name thing. And I bet that got that and that mechanic or electrician, I mean electrician, not the mechanic, electrician is probably going to be still up there counting. 100 100. Dang. Gonna tell me how the trick works or what? Well, there is one more thing. Uh, okay. Um. You could go down. 
upstairs and get me a cup of coffee. Is that all? Well, I can do that. I'll be back. Don't go anywhere. Who, me? Is it really a big deal to try to figure out how she did this cup trick? I must know the secret! Groot. I must know the secret on how she did this cup guessing trick! Okay. Hey, want some ink? Disappearing ink. A true classic. Yeah. Here you go, miss. Do you have some paper? I think I'll leave a note for Angela. Sure. Yep. Sorry, can I borrow a pen? By the way, I love your bedspread too. Do you? Okay. <laughs> How's she gonna put a pen? Stuck. Yep. Oh crap. I am so sorry. My sweater. Listen, run to the bathroom and wash it really well with cold water and soap. It will come out, I swear. But hurry before yeah. it sets. <laughs> well, at I least hope that comes out. Well, it's supposed to be disappearing ink. So, okay, now we can search the freaking room. Uh, desk. Okay. This magazine is old and well read by the look of it. Mm. Obsess much? This magazine. Okay. Angela looked better as a brunette. Hmm. Okay. Window. I bet the twist is Angela good, did it. it and even worse, Angela is a dude! <laughs> Angela's really into fairies. Whatever floats your boat, I guess. Well, what's wrong with fairies? But, right? <laughs> that must be Angela's father. Interesting looking guy. <laughs> yeah, he looks like he looks like a villain out of a Disney movie or something. I think that's the island where Angela grew up. Yeah. Beautiful. I think that's the island. Yeah. Okay. So Angela's not a natural blonde. Interesting, but hardly a crime. Mm -hmm. Well, whether or not it's a crime depends on your point of view, I guess. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, is there anything else? The view looks nice. Let me check the bed. So much pink everywhere. I don't get how Kelly stands this. Yeah. I've seen that. Um. Uh, right. Angela, Angela enrolled here in September of 2002. Angela, mm. Angela, Angela looked better as a brunette. Okay. Just want to make sure I'm not missing anything. That must be An That must. Yeah. Okay. I. I guess I got everything. All right. Oh. The cold water worked. The ink's gone. I can't believe it. That's a relief. Mhm. Mm I was just uh looking at this picture. Oh, that. Yeah. That's Angela's dad. He owned a pub on the Isle of Mull, but it burnt down a few years ago. He was killed in that fire. That's <sighs> awful. I had no idea. She mm. doesn't like to talk about it. Yeah. Weird. I've met several people with horrible losses like that recently. <laughs> Did you write that note? No. I think I know where Angela is, so I'll just run over there. Well, if I see her first, I'll tell you stop by. Um, okay. Okay, thanks. See you. Alright.
Can I actually go down the second floor? <sighs> that exit heads down to the lobby. Since I'm not supposed to be in the... Okay, so I gotta go for this way. I'm gonna kind of come across the, the guy again. If I quickly go downstairs, he would not notice me. All right. Well, since I discovered Helena going into that store, man, I guess I need to go in there. Do I still have the key? <laughs> I still have the cups. Yes, I do. I still have the key. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Stop looking. Just enter it already. Okay. Ooh, the panties are still here. Well, we got a hairpin. Yes, that should be useful. Anyway, I'm sure Helena's got plenty of those. Oh, well, I guess we're gonna take the hairpin. Okay. Let's take a look at the bureau program. What's this? A program from 2002 when Helena was in London. Helena was in London okay. in October of 2002. That's close enough to pass by Oxford. I better note that for Styles. Well, yeah, it's kind of true. That's around the same time as the accident, wasn't it? All right. Let's check the drawers. It's loading. There. A letter from St. Edmund Hall. Okay. This welcome letter is dated last month, so Helena really did just start here. Pretty much, I guess. Alright, well, since we got a hairpin, maybe we can open up that box. I bet it has. I bet it has a decomposing head. What's in the box? What's in the box? What's in the box? I need to get that box open. Yeah. I'll have to pick the lock. Well, that's why I had the hairpin selected. Oh no. Helena. Addicted to drugs. What a waste. With all that privilege, I just don't get people. I suppose if she needed to support her habits, she might conspire with the illusionist. This definitely puts her back under the microscope. Maybe that's why she's conspiring with Mephistopheles. To get drugs or money to buy them. Damn it. It's a very clean setup for a drug user. I mean, look at it. It's like she has all the needles in these nice, convenient little slots. And same thing goes with these. I mean, usually it's just, they're just rolled in a box. They're not really in that nice, confined space. Maybe but alright, so apparently she's been injecting herself off a lot with drugs. Or maybe that's um, her, or maybe she's secretly a diabetic and that's her penicillin or whatever they do, stick a needle in. I bet my, I don't know if I said it right. I mean, my mom, I know that my... My mom's a diabetic, so she has to uh, stick a needle in her body uh, from time to time. All right, well, I found one for there, so let's go to the. All right, let's enter back inside. All right. Oh, look who's here. Yeah. Oh, my. <laughs> oh, you about gave me a heart attack, young lady. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Who is this? Uh, Dr. Hellborn, 
This is Samantha Everett, Dr. Styles' new assistant. Mm -hmm. Sam, this is Dr. Elborn. Assistant? Really? Yeah. Yeah, and who are you? Yeah. Well, I'll leave you two to get acquainted. I've got work to do. If that had been himself, my goose would have been cooked. Oh. I should never have let you talk me into it. <sighs> Honestly. Okay. I ask again, who are you? I could have sworn Mrs. Dalton answered that. My name is Simon Hellborn. I'm an old friend of David. Yep. Sounds like you and I have a few things to talk about, Sam. Why? You put a piece of paper in your pocket as you came out of the lab. Find something interesting in there? Nothing I'm at liberty to discuss. Tuh. So what's behind the door? The door? <laughs> yeah, the one that came out. David's private lab. Yeah. And you were in there because? <laughs> I can see why you get on with him. <laughs> I'm looking out for a friend, Sam. Speaking of which, <laughs> yeah. have you noticed David acting unusual lately? You mean he has behavior that isn't unusual? <sighs> okay. Are you David's doctor? <laughs> no. I offered, but he doesn't want to be treated. But there's nothing wrong with him, right? <laughs> Other than the fact that he must have loved his wife very much. I'd like to show you something. Come here. It's called my wiener. Sit down on that stool there. Why? Yeah. A brief demonstration. Uh, is it another? Ma is it a magic trick? See, I'm the one behind all this crap. Yep. <laughs> Very good. Now put your hands under the table on your lap. Watch the tabletop. Okay. You're doing the exact same motions on my hand as you're doing on the tabletop. Just watch. Okay. Ow! What did you feel? <laughs> Nothing, but I just had the impression you were going to smash my hand. That's the power of association. Because you saw the counter being tapped and stroked, and you felt the identical sensations on your hand, your brain began to link the counter and your hand. We can become associated with anything, mm -hmm. an object, a place, or another person. When you become deeply associated with someone and they die, in a way, your brain is saying, this person is dead. I am this person, so I must be dead too. And okay. David was that connected with Laura. David adored Laura. But in his <laughs> no, case, really? the association is compounded by guilt. Well, I guess. Does David feel guilty because he was driving the car the night of the accident? No. <laughs> David was thrown from the car. He was perfectly fine. That can be very hard to accept. Oh, no? God. He got burnt trying to save Laura? Do you know that when a fire burns like that, a petrol fire, it's so hot that just getting within three feet of it can be like holding your hand in a flame. Mm. No sane person can make themselves walk into a fire like that. But he did, right? Yeah. He did everything humanly possible, but to David it will never be enough. Yeah. What do you mean by David acting unusual? <laughs> For instance, talking yep. to someone who isn't there or seeing things. David isn't crazy. No, but he doesn't sleep uh -huh. much, and sleep deprivation can cause hallucination. If you're talking yep. about the things happening on campus, they're really happening. I've investigated them myself. On campus? What things? Yeah, he um, doesn't know. What things are you talking about? I really can't discuss that with you. <laughs> Confidentiality. So there's nothing you want to tell me? No, <laughs> I shouldn't reveal what I've learned as David's assistant. Anyway. Okay. Goodbye, Sam. All right. Sorry, I was going to see you out. No need. I know the house well. Thank yep. you. Okay. With any luck, Dr. Hellborn won't notice that the paper he put in his pocket is missing until he's back at his office. Let's see what it says. Ooh, I did a pickpocketing. Oh David's been seeing Laura in the house, but he's not hallucinating. Oh. I saw Laura on the stairs myself. This is worse than I thought. They're doing things in the house too, and making him think it's Laura. That's just sick. I have to find out what's going on. <laughs> I'm just gonna wonder if this really, that she's really just th jumping to this conclusion, but in the real end, it's all really happening, as in it's really ghosts and everything. It's not really us. 
So, like, you know, oh my god, I didn't believe in magic, but I love doing magic tricks, and now I actually believe in it, or something. Now, I haven't even done much work on that, that puzzle thing. Let's touch him. You have a minute? So he was here while they were outside the whole time. Didn't hear any of that arguments or talk. Angela started Oxford in September 2002. Uh huh. But she seems pretty immature for her age. Her room is very pink. Pink. Oh. She doesn't have many friends, according to her roommate. And her father died in a accident. Mm. I get the feeling she's a little backwards. Do you want my opinion? Uh, no. Okay. Okay. All right. I looked into Helena's background. She started Oxford this year, but she could have been around long before that. I found a theater program in her room dated October 2002. October. Yep. Yeah. Also, I think she may have a drug problem. I found a syringe and bottles in her room. Could there have been a prescription? Maybe a suppressant or... She's young and healthy. Why would she need a prescription? True. She's obviously rich and a party girl. So mm. because she's rich, she must be completely lacking in judgment. Never mind. Fact. She had a bottle and syringe in her room. I'll leave my opinion out of it. Good idea. Yeah. Okay. That's it. That's all. Okay. Alright. Let's head upstairs. Let's see if Mrs. Dalton is in. Let's see if we can talk to her. Is that mine? None other. Is there a fire this morning? Huh? Some people don't eat when they're upset. Yep. Upset? About what? Um, just stressed about classes. Well, okay. this might cheer you up. The repair shop dropped off your bike this morning. It's out by the garage and running fine. Really? Yes, really. <laughs> you won't mention this morning's activity to himself, I trust. What morning's activity? Thank you. Okay. <laughs> All right. That was the best. Thank you. Pleasure, Sam. So wait, can I talk to her or not? Hmm. All right. Dr. Helborn showed me the list of Laura's appearances. Like the time uh -huh. I saw someone at the top of the stairs. Well, he shouldn't have. <laughs> it's Dr. Stiles' private business and no one else's. I should never have let him into that room. But David needs our help. Mm-hmm. What he needs is peace and quiet and not to be upset. He'd be fine if people would just leave him be. But that's the You point. did it. Someone you did it, didn't you? These things to David. Someone is faking Laura's presence. Who would do such a thing? And how could they pretend to be his poor dead wife back from the grave? It's tricky, all right. Uh -huh. But obviously not impossible. No one is doing this. The best thing we can all do is just not... Acknowledge, acknowledge it. Leave the poor man alone. Don't bring it up. Please, Samantha. I'm not going to talk to him about it. Uh -huh. Not yet, anyway. But David is stronger than you give him credit for, you know. There's mm. such a thing as expecting too much of someone. But there's also such a thing as expecting too little. That's not good for him either. You don't know what it was like after the accident. Yep. You weren't here when they brought him home to this house for the first time with Laura gone. You weren't here to listen to him. He must have been in a lot of pain. With all the burns. There, you yep. see? You don't know anything about it. Okay. I'll just... Maybe then. <laughs> Let's go upstairs for a second. This is where the ghost disappeared. I yep. should look around to see if there's some mechanism hidden around here. Alright. Uh, gargling. No wires. Nothing. Okay, cabinet. Nothing. Okay. Chair. There's nothing rigged to these chairs. 
Good. The monk? Looks like a monk. Or ah. Quasimodo post surgery. Looks like a monk. Okay. Apparently they're I can't look at it. I don't see anything suspicious. Okay. Looks like a monk. Okay, nothing here. Well, maybe let's go to our bike. Well, if someone's been rigging the house, they've done a good job of cleaning it out again. Uh huh. Well, maybe this is actually happening. That's uh, that's one thing I would really hope it is. You know, like she's really there's really a ghost in this house. I mean, heck, there's already a large science that it's possible because. The ghost has given out um, styles, uh, little hints and signs about clues to some event. Okay. Let's see if it works. Yep. All right, I guess it works. And it didn't cost me a dime. Wow. I'm not sure anyone has ever done anything that nice for me. Jeez. I'm such a friggin' pushover. Aw, oh, thanks. Oh, this is so great. I feel so happy for the nice things you've done for me. By the way, I'm an imposter, just so you know. I never worked as an assistant or worked at a place. <laughs> Well, let's see if we, we need can... to see what's in there. Maybe there's a key around here someplace. Uh, maybe the statue? Someone put a key under that statue. Oh, well, there we go. Okay, let's uh, use the key uh, in the tower. Yep, path of dust. Everything's dusty in here, yep. except the center of the stairs. Someone's been using them lately. Ooh, that's something. Okay. Let's head up to the tower. Ooh, someone's been sitting up here. You can see right into David's bedroom from here. Oh, that makes me so mad. <laughs> What's going on over there? And there's that a ch chair is a little suspicious. It doesn't look dusty at all. That means someone's been sitting here. All right, so apparently, so apparently we have someone who's been up in the tower. Very interesting. All right. So someone's been in the tower. Tower. Hmm. Well, let's go quickly to the kitchen. And let's see if we can have a quick talk with, with Mrs. Dalton. Hi, you. Hey. Okay. Nice for the pause. Let's talk to her. The I bike. can't believe Dr. Styles had my bike repaired. Yep. That's the nicest thing anyone's ever done for me. Oh, don't read too much into it. Money is one trouble he doesn't have. Yay! You know that key to the tower? I found it under a rock by the door. The tower? Ah. Yeah, the older tower out by the yep. garage. That old thing. That's an old folly. No one's used it in years and years. Not even when Laura was alive. The key doesn't yeah, right. old. 
Well, I don't know anything about that. Uh -huh. I wouldn't mess around in there if I was you. Filthy as the devil. Mm -hmm. Ooh, well, uh, apparently we're done talking to her. And Is that I, flour? Yeah. Mind if I borrow a little? It tastes better when it's in the pie crust, dear. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be my friend for life if you're making pie. But I need just a pinch for something else. Yeah. I, call you one, love. I bet I know what we're going to use that for. Well, you know what? I'm going to save that for the next part. So, yeah. Anyway, guys, um, I hope you're enjoying this Let's Play. Um, this is your Point and Critic Gamer. Remember, like and subscribe, and I hope to see you in the next part. See you later, everyone.